Welcome back my friends to the direct video. Hope you're having a good day and if you're not, I hope it gets better. This video is from Code Blue Camp. Let's see what it's all about. Let's go. In January 2024, police were advised by a county deputy of a pickup truck traveling at a high rate of speed in Lake Halley, Wisconsin. A 22-year-old male driver named Nicholas was reportedly traveling 85 miles per hour in a 50 mile per hour zone resulting in the deputy's inability to intercept the vehicle. Minutes later, a Lake Halley police officer observed the speeding truck and began to pursue it. When he initiated his emergency lights, Nicholas immediately fled. 274, Cody, copy at 1080. This is 53 southbound, that black Chevy just passed the 21st hill. Wisconsin truck. Uh, speed. Just blew the lights at Melby, continuing Hastings southbound. Speeds of 95, traffic's light, just coming up to Eddie Lane. We'll be heading eastbound on North Crossing. As the pursuit escalated to speeds of 100 miles per hour, the officer noticed the truck's tailgate open, where an ice fishing sled full of gear was yeeted onto the roadway. We are going eastbound, Tower Drive. We just lost ice fishing equipment at Tower Drive and 41st Avenue. Um, ice fishing equipment came out the back. It's all over the road. If you want to have a unit, come that way to clear the roadway. Sorry. <laughs> you know what? I don't know how these people think they can run away from the police, man. Now you can't you can't run away from the police. They communicating, they know what you're going. They especially if you're coming from somebody else, somewhere else, like they know their area. You, you know <laughs> I think I heard a kid died in the car. So <laughs> we might have a a, a a dog, a canine dog gonna find some toy to play with or you know. <laughs> So get some plate time. That's all I'm saying, man. Um, <laughs> he says, sorry, babe. What? Oh, he's talking about the, oh, yeah, the, the dog. Probably because of the turns or something, right? All right. He apologizes to the dogs. Yeah, but that guy's dumb. He's <laughs> getting rough with the police, man. He's just getting more charges. Hey, babe. <laughs> Oh, 66, or correction, about 45 miles an hour now. Nicholas soon turned down a road that the officer knew led to a dead end at a boat landing by the lake. We are now turning southbound onto Indian Hills. I believe this is going to dead end into Lake Altoona. Without hesitation, Nicholas proceeded to drive onto the frozen lake and turned off his headlights, causing what? the officer to terminate the pursuit. 274 County, I'm going to be discontinuing. He's driving onto Lake Altoona. He is on the lake. Two seventy four County. I'll remain at this landing if you want to notify Old Claire to have units go to the other landing. What? 
He's still okay. good. Yeah. Got a little water splash drum back there, didn't we? You did good. You did good. He's out uh, doing donuts out in the middle now. Oh, they are? Yeah, I, uh, I discontinued once he got on the lake. I have no idea what the thickness is out here. But he's, uh, he's, he's right there. All three of them are going over there. That's his, that's his headlights out there. Leave it to Dan. <laughs> she didn't like the ride. <laughs> you want to pull another car just so he doesn't sneak there and I'll lay spikes right here yeah, in case he decides to. Yeah. Just put yours in like your back seat or something in case you need them later. Hey, you okay back here? Stay. Stay. Any name or anything on any of that gear did you notice? I looked, there was already somebody there scavenging it on scene. <laughs> and then there was some other lady that had his sled and stuff pulled off with the auger and stuff in it. So. Yeah, all of a sudden tailgate dropped and there goes his sled and all of his ice fishing gear and then every corner it's beer cans and beer cans. I looked at a chair and stuff like that and just tossed it off to the side for now. Where'd you try to stop originally? Business 53 and 27th Ave. Then we went down North Crossing up Black Ave. <laughs> I was right there and I got down and I saw lights going westbound. I'm like, I, well, I knew I it all of a sudden. I'm like, I'm like I seen them turn on at Indian Creek and I'm like, I got him. This is a dead end. It's going to go into Lake Altoona. And then I'm like, how much ice is he going to drive on Lake Altoona? All of a sudden he just, I'm like, oh God. As assisting officers station themselves on the other side of the lake, they observed the truck was stuck in the snow and Nicholas was seen fleeing from it. Is that him right there? Is that him right there, Ed? I got a rifle. Let's get to an area of cover here. Let's get over here or something. Yeah. Is that the truck? Yes, yeah, he's walking right now. 412 County. We have a visual on the truck. We believe the subject is walking on the ice to the northeast on foot. Do you want to just switch with me just in case this guy comes? I don't want him ramming my car with the dog in it if he decides to be a. Yeah. If you just want to pull your squad where mine is. See him? No, he's right here. Yeah. Hold on, Ed. Does uh, County's canine, does Altoona, or uh, Halley have a canine? We have no canines, no. He's right, right ahead of us. Where's he at right now? He killed his life. He's over on the other side of the lake by the other landing. Oh, okay, and, and that, there's an Altoona squad set up there because yep. I saw headlights, so. Do you want me to clear the car? Yes. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, I see right ahead of us. Yeah, so I'm just going to have you pull in. Just, I don't want him, if he decides to come this way and ram a car and start hitting the spikes, I don't want the dog taking a ride. Yeah, my dog doesn't do apprehension, so. When we get close to me, like, yeah. I'll just close my gun line. Huh? Go my gun line and flash it. Flash it. I've got my canine here, but she's not apprehension. Mm. She'll just chase him down and look for a toy. Come here. Let him go. Testing! Stay down! Get down, Louie! You may release the canine! He's down. Okay. Let's keep the air clear. We're catching up to him now. Stop <laughs> running! Please! <sighs> you want to go lethal? I'll take the pepper wall and get him. I can get him. Stop when you're going to get pepper ball! Get on the ground right now! He's walking away, not following commands. <clears throat> Jesus. Put your hands up! Are you going to get hit with pepper ball? Just get down on your knees! Keep your hands up! Of course, I'm going to have gun gunpoint. You keep gun gun. Keep lethal out. Stay right there. Don't move. Hold oh, me, there people behind us. Stay right there. All right, let's just wait. Just wait. Hold. We're waiting. Let's catch up. I'm not going to hurt you guys. All right. We got hands. Keep your hands in the air. Max, you go hands. Max, holster, go hands. Yeah, back. Yep. We're just turning the flash out. Okay. Arms out to your side like an airplane on your face. On your face. Do not look at us. I love you, Jimmy. I love you. Are you hurt? No. 407 County, one in custody. While taking him into custody, they noticed he had a strong odor of intoxicants coming from him. Additionally, they discovered an open 30 pack of Bush Light beer in his truck, along with a can in his pocket. Whew. All right, turn over to me. Let me grab my phone. Yeah, I will. <laughs> yeah, that explains why he was doing donuts in the lake. Like, I was like, man, he must have a death wish or something. He's running in there with with, with the vehicle in the lake, you know, because the, the ice might not be that thick and he might just push. I, I'm sure the, the police officers were just standing there, like, wondering, like, when they're going to hear something or see the lights go. Oh, I guess he, he uh, 
turn him off, right? But I was like, why would he do that? Now I know he was under the influence, intoxicated, makes you do some stuff, dumb stuff, you know? I guess he was talking about the canine wasn't an apprehendable dog. They probably used it just to sniff, you know, uh, 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 Mary Jane, other types of stuff. But <laughs> that's a good thing that he said. You get down and release the canine. They, they didn't have no canine, but that's a good way to tell somebody, like, get, get down or you're about to get bit. My dude. Yeah, alcohol makes you do some stupid stuff. <laughs> And they talk about uh, before uh, when they got there, there was people already looting. <laughs> they, were, <laughs> they were like free fishing gear. Hey, there's a lake nearby. You know, they're ready to go when they, when they get sunny and, and hot. <laughs> okay, I'm going to get back to the video. What do you think up to this point? Oh, oh, oh. That was a hike. Dude, I wiped out on the ice back there. What's your name? Nick. I'm a, fe I'm a felon. Nate? No, Nick. Nick? That's All right. Me. Straighten this leg. I'm going to bring you to your knee and then we're going to stand up, okay? Right. I don't know. I, I'm not going to hurt you guys. I do appreciate that, dude. Can I at least get a cigarette? You no, hey. Just stop, stop turning. Moving. Let's search him right now. You got anything on you that's going to stick me, fold me, hurt me? Uh, if anything, I got you know, maybe a little bit of THC. No that's weapons? Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I ain't no dangerous person. I ain't no. Anybody else in the car with you? No, just me. Did anybody clear that? No. No. Okay. Hold this phone. We'll go clear the car. <laughs> Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah. We'll walk him back towards the Altoona boat landing. Can I at least have a cigarette, please? No. Yeah, I have uh, one. Maybe when we get back yeah. to the boat landing. Let's all catch our breath. You've been decent with yeah, us. Yeah. Appreciate that. But I said, I appreciate like I said, you stopping. If anything, I got THC on me. That's, that's it. That's not what we're a worried about pen. right now. Yeah. No, I appreciate you not giving us a hard time fighting with us. So, hanging the bibs, hanging the sweatshirt like pocket. If anything, I got a fucking pen. That's it. Okay. Yeah, just where is it? Though? Is there anything in the truck we need to know about? I have nothing. No. Okay. No, literally, man. Okay. That was it. Just asking. I'm not. We don't know who we deal with. I know, I know. Yep. I get it. Said, I really appreciate you being honest and decent with us. Give me a workout, that's for sure. Yeah, I know. It says I'm a felon all the all over our blood. That's not me, though. I'm trying to f***ing get my together. You guys will make, this, make me sound like I'm a bad guy, but it's not me, though. I don't think you're a bad guy. I judge you more for drinking Bush and not Miller. <laughs> yeah, I like Coors. I don't even know why, honestly, that there's a Bush in there. I'd rather drink Coors, fuck. Holy Got a million pockets on this jacket, man. Two. Yeah, at least we'll be my walking back, back shortly. I just want to talk to her other. one more time. So I'm going to prison. I'm going. Not anything in the hat, right? No. No, take it off. I don't give a No, there's nothing. I'm just trying to go hang out with my brother for his birthday. Do you want to just take him? You want to pick him up, transport him, and just take him to jail and do fields in the Sally Port at the jail? He's going for the pursuit. Check his pocket. Yeah, go ahead. Like I said. The only thing you're gonna find on me is some weed. Ooh. I'm just gonna make sure you don't fall on the ice here, right? Since yeah, you're handcuffed, I want you to fall on your face and not be able to stop yourself. I appreciate it, thank you. Went to work today, came home, went to go celebrate my brother's birthday. Can I have a smoke? Today? Well, we'll, 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 we'll get over there, we'll get you one. Just get off the ice. Yep. You're a ballsy guy for driving a truck on the ice. <laughs> kind of been warm out, man. Uh, they have been out here. Say, I was wondering if I should go after you. <laughs> you guys got out here quick. I'll tell you that. Well, thanks for the hustle out there, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's well, a first? I mean, it was a valid effort by him, but that's not a great decision. Well, had we not that known really right did. away when you got to the lake, had that not have been put out, he would have gotten off the other side if you knew exactly where he was going. Yeah. Because that was a total working thing to get Altoona back over there. So I got down here, and I'm like, call Eau Claire, and then I'm like, I'm pretty sure Bell's on in Altoona. So I called Ed, and I said, hey. He's like, I'm in a 1080 right now. I said, I am in the 1080. <laughs> <laughs> get get over to the other landing. Can I talk to my girl one more time too, please? We'll work on a phone call later. I mean, I get that. But yeah. I know right now we got some other stuff we got to take care of, right? Ooh. Let's take it nice and slow, right? Yeah, we don't like, need to. I'm need... trying to do it. I know it's you know it's I mean? slick. I almost I almost fell too coming out here. So let's just. Are you okay if we drive the car back to the shore here? Is it gonna get towed? Yeah, one or the other. Well, I'd rather drive it out here. I can have someone come pick it up. All right. Out here. I'm not, like I said, I don't got nothing against you. I'm not going to hurt you guys. Okay. No, we appreciate that. We just don't know that ahead of time because some yeah, people do, I you know. I know. I know how it goes. No, it means a lot to me when you're caught, you're caught and you're being Rejected. respectful. So I appreciate that. Rejected. I haven't This is like the most friendly person to get arrested. <laughs> like, it's just bad choices, you know. He, I guess he was like, alcohol, like I say, alcohol doesn't make you do uh good choices you know so he got off of work he decided to start sipping then this is his brother's birthday so he was like you know what i'm gonna just go ahead and 
over to my brother you see my brother i mean i got you know it, it looks like he has good family relationship with his brother and stuff like that except for the alcohol didn't help out and he decided to go drunk over to his brother and then speeding he probably said oh I, I guess when he saw police like the alcohol went up went down and then he said uh oh i'm about to go to jail you know, or prison and he escalated it by per making it a pursuit um, for a minute there i thought the, the the truck he was driving had flipped over something I don't know, it looked like to me like it had flipped over something but i guess it didn't it just got stuck on the snow like i said but for some reason i don't know why i thought it had flipped over but yeah these are really nice police officers too they're like you gave me a workout oh bad choices you guys oh see his life would have been different if he wasn't drinking i'm just saying you know if you're gonna drink like i say drink responsible uh and also yeah that tlc with him like leave that leave that at the house i don't know why he even had it with him but okay tell you man it must have been the alcohol bag oh don't let nothing take over your body and especially your brain. I'm just saying. Let's get back to this. Check the record first. or anything. Do you have a warrant? No, I oh. got no warrant. I'm on probation. I got gotcha. you. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. I'll put my hands right here. Do whatever you need to. Here you go. Open your mouth. Well, I'm trying my best here, man. It's cold. The lighter's cold. There you go. There you go. You want to call your girl or what? Yeah. Dude, I don't know what's going on at least, you know. Is that who you're talking to out on the lake? Yeah. Oh, it looks it's like she's still on the phone. Hey, what's up, baby? Uh, the truck's out on the lake. You can grab the cigarette. It's stuck to my lips, sorry. No, it's on. And it's only a two-wheel drive, so it's stuck on the lake it's right now. That's the only reason why I stopped. Well, the truck's going to get towed. No, it's on the lake. You're not going to get it off there. It doesn't oh, yeah. matter. I don't give a f*** about that truck. I'm going to prison right now, so goodbye. There goes the phone. You done with the call? No. Well, no. I mean, kind of, but... Good enough. Can your girlfriend come get it? Yeah, she can come get it tomorrow. The truck's know. stuck out on the lake, so we're leaving. His girlfriend's gonna come get it. I love you, baby. See you later. All right, I love you. No reason... Tell, her, tell it's gonna be on the lake. It's, my truck will be on the lake. Don't cry. We'll figure it out, I guess. So Nicholas, N-I-C-H-O-L-A-S. Yep. Is that his truck out there still? Yeah, it's stuck. We're leaving it. It's stuck out there? Yep. <laughs> so just confirm you're not hurt or anything like that? Don't need an ambulance? Okay. You need some water? Yeah, if I had one, I'd give you one. I don't know if anybody else does. So, Mr. Ricky, I'm Officer Suskowski with Lake Halley Police Department. I'm going to put you in the transport belt. We're going to go down to the Chippewa County Jail. Sound good? Chippewa? Chippewa, yeah. Okay. Since that's kind of where it originated at. So. Okay. Yep. Have you been decent with everybody? Yeah. 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 I'm not, I'm not f***ing comprehensive. Get, like, I'm not going to. Nobody, and what's going to happen when we get you all the handcuffs, yeah, we're going to get this jacket off. Really You'll be fine for a little bit until I get you in the car. Right. 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 I did the best thing. Let's do whatever you need to do. Let's search go. So, yeah. Search me out. Like I said, I'm not going to be that. comprehensive. Yep. I'm not going to be comprehensive. I'd rather putting this on you. It's going to be up front, all right? Just following our protocol. He lost a pile of MPs every corner with his beer cans coming. Well, when I saw you, he lost fishing equipment. I'm like, he's going to the lake. So we walked him down. Yeah, I suppose we got on Black Avenue on the tailgate window. And also the sled comes out with the auger. I'm not going to. And be, yeah, well, it'd be kind of stupid too right now with all the cops here. <laughs> I get that. I know. I'm, I'm just saying. If I'm sick of this shit with my fucking. When I got up there, there was people were already scavenging all this stuff. <laughs> Jesus. If you have free equipment, I'm sure somebody's got a vaccine. Yeah, they'll be much more comfortable if you keep your arms like that. You know, you've been telling me you've wanted to get out on the ice this year. You know, you. <laughs> and, I know you. and I said, hey, I'll get you out on the ice this year. You know, I just didn't say whether it was with a rod or not. Some days I feel like my dad's 5,000 miles away, and some other days are like today. <laughs> so, facts to my squad car has been searched. Prior to anybody being in there, it will be searched after you're done yeah, in there. I got okay? nothing. Well, I'm just telling you that well, if something does to... pop up while yeah, we're at the jail and yeah. stuff, so. <coughs> I know how it goes. We'll get over there, we'll get in my oh. car, see who don't want the red light on. Thank you. Put your arms right up through there. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. You at least play some bangers. What do you want? Uh, some country. 
95 one or uh or 106.7 <laughs> there you go i appreciate it thank you no problem he was then transported to the county jail where he refused all tests upon reviewing his records it was also discovered he was on probation and had two prior owi convictions Nicholas was hit with felony counts of vehicle fleeing eluding an officer, which was a repeater. Misdemeanor counts of OWI, third offense, operating with prohibited alcohol content, and operating while revoked. He further earned himself over $2,400 in traffic citations. A search warrant was obtained for his blood, which later revealed he had a blood alcohol concentration of 0.18 at the time of the incident. Ultimately, he was given a cash bond set at $1,000. Want a deeper look into the chain? Wow, I don't know how. I don't know how people don't learn. Like, once they get the UI or something like that, they keep doing it. It's like they're, they're like, okay, whatever, you know. I guess it, I guess I'll wait till they pull me over again. And, and then it was his second time fleeing. I guess that the main drug doesn't help him out. Like when he's supposed to stop, <laughs> like he just makes it worse for him. That, I mean, that bond wasn't that bad. I mean, he, he was out, but I don't, I don't know how these people do it, man. I just, they just, they, they don't know. Nicholas, Nicholas, Nicholas. I thought he was going to go, like, when he said he was a felon, like, I thought he was probably going to go to prison for a while, but I don't know. Maybe they just keep him in jail or something for that or, or something. But, um, I gotta say, man, those police officers were super nice. Like, they gave him a cigarette, turned the radio for him. <laughs> like, I guess, I mean, I got, it's the first time I see a, one of, a, you usually see alcoholic People that are alcoholic that get aggressive and stuff like that. He's one of the ones that I pretty much talk about that. They get drunk and they're just chill. I mean, he made some dumb decisions, right? But he's chill. Like, he's like, he understands, like, I ain't going to make things worse than it already is. So I got to get him plats for that. But hopefully he stops and learns not to be drinking. Like, that's, that's the enemy of for within himself, you know? And the bad thing about it is that he chooses to do it. So I don't know. What did you think about this video, man? Let me do this. I was hoping he didn't fall through that ice, though. To be honest, I was like, ooh. But what did you think about Nicholas? What you thought about these police officers? They were just having a good time, I think. But I don't know. What did you think? And thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Also, hit the like button because it really helps this video out. Because are you hitting the like button? YouTube will recommend this channel and videos to somebody that's never seen it before. And I really appreciate it. It's the best way to support this channel. And uh, yeah, I want to watch another video. You can watch it somewhere here. And I will see you next time. Bye.